Hi, this is John McDermott, and today I'd like to show you how to use associative arrays in the Bash shell. Now the first question is, what is an associative array? Well, an associative array is an array where the subscripts are words or names, not numbers. So it's sort of like a database where you have a key and a value. Traditional arrays have numbers as their subscripts, but in an associate array, there are a word or group of words. Now first we'll play with this interactively, and then we'll look at a script. To create an associative array in Batch, in Bash we say declare minus cap A and the name of the array. Let's call it menu. Now I've created the associate array menu. Now I can say menu sub drink is coffee menu sub food equals eggs. You can tell what I had for breakfast. And I can look at one of those. For example, remember we need a dollars to access an array in bash, a, a, a variable in bash. The same is true for an array. And we have to use the curly braces because it's more than a simple word. Eggs. That's good. I can do the same for the drink. and it'll be coffee. Now, let's look at a script that shows how to do this. Our script is called read underscore associate, so let's look at that. Here it is. We'll start at the top and look at this kind of line by line. The first thing we do is say to use bash. That's good. That's our job. Here we declare an array called ASSOC. And we're going to be very general in this script and not try and call it by whatever we're going to use it for so we can use it for more different things. Now we have a while loop to read in the index, that's like a subscript, and the value that goes in it. We've also set the field separator to comma, which means we'll separate our index and value with a comma. We show what we're inserting and we insert it into the array. We'll also show here the number of values that we've entered after everything has been entered. The number sign and the star, the star means all of it, and the number sign is the count or the size. Now we'll print out the whole array. So index is in this bang a so star. That is all of the keys or indexes. And then here we'll list the index itself and then print the value. Now we're also able to search for values in the array. We'll read the index that you want, like in the early example that was interactive, maybe food, and we'll print out the value, just as we did in our demo. Now I don't want to type in a whole lot of data, so I'll take this first while loop up here, and I'll add to it our input redirection, that has some names and uh, values for salaries. Now you'll note here, it inserted 1,000 for John, 2,000 for Adrian, 3,000 for Allison, 3,000 for Catherine, and 1,500 for Bob. Five values entered, and here they are. Note, please that the order is not the same as the order in which we entered them. There is no notion of order 
in an associative array. So let's look at the value for Adrian. 2,000. We look at the value for John. 1,000. And when I'm done, I'll just type a control D. There we go. Okay, so now we've looked at associative arrays interactively and associative, associative arrays in a script. I hope this has given you a good introduction to using associative arrays, which basically make a simple database, in Bash. Thank you very much.